And coming up, uh, let's show this book. I read this book last night, yeah, and it you know, is you, absolutely you know, I read it lovely. To our, I, re I actually read it to our kids. They're nine and four. And, you know, the book says it's for seven and up, but our four-year-old girl was enchanted. Yes, it's, it's really, a it's lovely, a, it's, it's Julie Andrews' third children's book, and I, everything she does, she does it exquisitely. And she's our first guest up in just a moment. Yeah. Stay with us. <laughs> show tomorrow as well. Our good friend Mary Lou Henner will be here. She's got a great new book out called I Will Not Raise a Brat. There I refuse go. to raise a brat, so good for her. world needs more brats, like it needs a hole in the head. Also, Will Ferrell from Saturday Night Live. He's in that new uh, Molly Shannon movie called Superstar and great guy. You like this guy. Yeah, I like him a lot. Actor, singer. Uh, great cook. Great cook. But tomorrow he's going to be uh, showing us his new CD, uh, uh, James Darren. Oh, Tom, be still. Be still. I didn't see those back there. That's leather. This is leather, Very yes. Nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. My husband saw me in these last week and said, you've got your size 2 leather pants on with your size 4 butt. Oh, how the nice thing. <laughs> lovely, you lovely You folks think I pick on her. Yeah, yeah. right, right. Yeah. All right, she is one of our favorite, favorite people in the whole world. She's a Tony, Emmy, and Academy Award winning actress and singer who recently finished her third children's book. It is such a delight always to have her with us. Julie Andrews, everybody. <laughs> I think they like you. <laughs> What's it like to not have an enemy in the world? <laughs> Oh, God, that's a funny question. I don't know. It's great. Have you ever oh, so about I that? Say. Everybody universally adores Julie Andrews. I mm. know. It's kind of the most flattering and lovely thing one could ask for. Is it daunting in any way? Do you feel like you have to, something to uh, live no, up to? No, it all makes the life time. so terribly easy because everybody's so nice to me. It's kind of easy to be nice back, if you yeah. know what I mean. Yeah. Do they, do, when you. One of my favorite movies was S.O.B., in which you were a little salty. Well, I actually of played a real bitch in that. Yes, you did. <laughs> and I just wanted to hear Very you say that. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes. do, but do, do people, when that happens, and they're used to her saying what a beloved human, and you yes. go on and you play a saltier character, do, do people I kind think, of resent uh, that? Uh, there were times when uh, it didn't work. And people said, oh, that's not the Julie I wish to see or something. Yeah. But I think... That was a I wonderful think, Julie, though. Uh, thank really you, was. and I enjoyed it so much. Yeah. These days, the body of work kind of adds up and speaks for itself, I think. Yeah, but that was with your husband directing as well, right? Yes. But that was a, probably a joint decision, like, let's stretch a little bit, let's go another that's direction. That's right, yes. And, and the same with Victor Victoria yes, and things like that. Yes, because nobody is one-dimensional. And oh, you know, we're God, all no. No, multifaceted no. human beings. Yeah, hopefully. Yes. <laughs> and growing all the time. If you play one role your yes. whole life, I mean, that, how boring would that be? I think it, it would be death in a way. Yeah. Now, you, know, you, use the, I'm sorry, you use the phrase that I like, well, you use the phrase body of work. And you know, when you're, when you're getting started and you're making films and you're getting on with your career, you're sort of thinking you have jobs and, and things you're working on. At what point do you look back and say, wow, I've done some pretty impressive stuff. I, I have a body of work. I mean, does that hit you at some point? Uh, it's beginning to these yeah. days, yes, in my advanced years. It's really, <laughs> it's really, uh, I'm, I'm so honored that, that I had the chance to do those things because it's, it, people sort of think that you, you, yes, to some extent you made them happen, but you had to be asked to do them, sure. and that's where the luck and the breaks come in, you know? Yeah, you have to be, you have to be ready for the opportunity that's when it comes right. your way. Yeah. And what opportunities you had, Julie? You want to walk down memory lane a little I bit? We always you. do that with you, because it's so much fun. This is good for me, too. This was 1959, My Fair Lady with Rex Harrison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Salty, bit of a salty guy himself, yes, he was, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Wasn't he? Yeah. Now, how about having these two leading men vying for your affections? Robert Goulet and Richard Burton in Camelot, 1960. Uh, between Rex Harrison and Richard Burton, who could have better tutors? Who I could mean? ask for anything more? Who could ask for yeah. anything more? Oh, yeah, I know what you could ask for. <coughs> How about Dick Van Dyke? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> This is still one of my children's all-time favorites. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they can't decide what they love better. The, the, the Mary Poppins or... This is it. Or this. Oh, that one. I yeah. cry when I see this picture. <laughs> <laughs> this is 1965. Thank like you. Like I'm telling you. No, no, but you know what? <laughs> you were I, there. You probably remember. <laughs> I don't remember dates. I'm terrible. Really? Somebody said to me the other day, uh, uh, when was Poppins made? And I said... 
63 or 64? I really don't remember. It was 64. Now, you won the Academy Award for that one, right? Mm -hmm. Now, and was Dick Van Dyke even nominated, Julie? Have we talked about this before? What an oversight if he wasn't. Yeah, he was I know. Equally as wonderful. I know. I mean, the two and of you together was such a mess. his and that you Oh, that is. just that. Yes. Oh, well, look, talk about bodies. How about these ladies? <laughs> Mary Tyler Moore and Carol Channing. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll do one last one the because last I... They've all stayed good friends. Yeah, I know, it's so obvious. Yeah. Uh, you've never made a movie with Carol Burnett? Another movie. I That's know you've done your special, three but... Three specials. Why not a movie I don't with Carol know, Burnett? And we've talked about it and talked about it. Oh, and... Julie, you've got to do that. Well, gotta, I'll, I mean, we, why should James Garner be listen. the only one? You know? put on a show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I love this, and I love the Broadway yeah. show, too. It was fantastic. Well, you were nearly very, very nearly part of that. You know... And you are going to be doing a carol show, right? Well, the irony is that the circle of life, you know. I Julie know. Julie asked me five years ago to take over for her. One night a week in Victor Victoria, I was honored, thrilled to pieces, but Cassidy was one. And I remember saying to Julie, I can't believe I'm saying no to Mary Poppins. <laughs> but I said, my daughter's only one, and Broadway will always yeah. be there. But I think you made the right choice. And you choice. told I mean, me that, and you made me feel so good at the time. You yeah. said, you'll never, ever regret putting your family first. No. I love you for that, Julie. Yeah. Thank you. We're going to talk more with Julie Andrews. We're never letting her go. Far away from the cold night air. That's been my only regret. Are you don't go into rehearsal. No, Julie. Julie uh, started the, the first production of putting it together, which Carol Burnett's starring in, starting I think October 30. 30. 30. 29th, yeah, 30th? something. They start previews very soon, and mm -hmm. Julie did it first, and, and Carol's doing it in the next, and I get to take over for these incredible ladies one night every week, and I said to Carol the other day at rehearsal, I said, I just want to breathe the same air you're breathing. You know? <laughs> She's extraordinary. And how do, you, how do you remember all those Sondheim lyrics? We were just talking about it, and... Uh, they are, they yeah, are when you forget a lyric, I mean, it's not as if in a if dialogue lucky, you could add your way, your way about it, but how in the world I did it three times when I did the show, I, 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 and three major times, but somehow I found my way back. Did the audience even know? Because they don't really know that song, pardon me. It depends who was out front. Uh, yeah, friend knew. Uh, Sondheim sitting in the front knew. Uh, he knew. I'm You're sure holding I'm a book, I noticed. I'm holding a... You, you and I both read this, yeah. and it is extraordinary. I didn't realize that Julie had written two more before. And so I'm going to run out and get those. But then there's this story of this precious little cat that gets separated from the rest of the litter. And she just told me that this is going to be a, a series of books and, and that uh, eventually the, the little bow... All, all the will, brothers and sisters, oh. uh, she meets up with them in various Did you have another... You had another did, were you going to name the cat Babe? Is that a true story? Oh, it's true. Then a certain pig came that along and screwed pig everything up. Pig Some along. pig stole your time. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is so rude of that pig. I know. Well, it was uh, long, long before Babe came out. Um, I was going to call little Bo Babe, and uh, actually, you know, things work out so much for the best because uh, uh, Babe is an interesting, um, easy word, and when, when she's called Babe by her dad, and she's called Babe by the sailor that finds her, yes. and then uh, I finally had got down to little Bo, and I thought, Bo, Bo. And then we got to the big word, her, her real name is Bodicea. But I didn't know yeah. how you pronounced and it. And then when she meets her sailor, he, he says, you're a bonny cat. If you were my cat, I'd call you Bo. Yeah. And so Bo works for both Bonnie it and sure Bo. Writing for kids is, is tricky business because there's this yeah, sense that you have to write, you know, I'll just write cute little, little words. It's, it's not far, the way. It's yeah. far, the, the younger you get, the more difficult it is because you have to be, be very spare. You have to be very sure that they're learning, hopefully, Good literature, good words, yes. and and, uh, and, and you the, must the story is very them. clear. You must yes. respect them, not not and not bore them. <laughs> yes, that you've been, is so you've been so signing. You, you were at a book signing yesterday oh, in state. It was the most incredible thing. I think I sat there for close to three hours. She and was my supposed to be there for an hour. Bruised it, and four hundred people. 400 books you signed, so yeah. she was there they for all three. they all came with like eight books each, 17 books each, you know. I mean, <laughs> so they did their Christmas shopping. They did. They did their Christmas shopping. I'm happy to say. But you're also... <laughs> so when you're signing books, you go cha-ching, cha-ching, or how does that... Uh, cha-ching, bang, bang. No, that yeah. wasn't her. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I signed the books Julie Andrews Edwards, because yes. without Blake, I'd never have had the courage to write. He was so encouraging. And so usually Julie Andrews in the signature goes off very fast, but oh, Julie so Andrews Edwards, I wish now I'd you know, <laughs> oh, shortened it. Right, yeah. right, right. Now, Blake has been just, I mean, can you imagine where your career or life would have gone, Julie, if he had not been? No, I can't. No. no I well, mean, we're not mutually exclusive to each other, but we, we have done so, we've done like eight, nine movies together. Yeah. And, and uh, been married how long now? Uh, 30 years this year. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. so good. You should write an autobiography. That's what you should do. Don't you? Are you working on it? Are you going to do it? I am. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to be starting a bio uh, this year, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. I'm beginning to pull it all together. Do you have a title in your head? Uh, I haven't yet. 
Um, but I've got like six, and I'm not sure. Oh, it'll, it'll tell me. How about ev the whole world loves Julie Andrews? How's that? I'll just let you have that. Uh, you got a couple of, couple of uh, in addition, a little bow. Just want to mention. Uh, you're working with James Garner again? In, in I've, wor I've worked with James Garner again. I'm doing a show with him uh, for television for the other network uh, at Thanksgiving. We're on all the networks. We're right. just, yeah. we're very global. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I'm doing that on, uh, on Thanksgiving weekend and a lovely little film we made together. I just finished a film in England. Um, I, there's another bow book coming out. There's a book coming out with my daughter that I wrote for even younger kids because now that I have grandchildren. Yes. Oh, uh, yeah. It's great to give them a gift like that. Well, but, you know, why can you... It's just such a wonderful thing to see them and also seeing what they're interested in and what... Yeah. We should find them. a way to fill up some of your spare time. You really should. <laughs> <laughs> the magic continues with Julie Andrews Edwards and this charming book, Little Bow. Make a great Christmas present. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be right back with David Boreal.